Hi, Ken Van here again, training manager at Sound Pumps. So, very briefly, just want to have a quick look at the difference between a regenerative impeller and a centrifugal impeller, and what the sort of pros and cons are of both. So, first one we'll look at is a regenerative impeller. Here we have one of our CT50 extras. These are a regenerative pump. So, what you can see with the impeller is it's essentially it's a little tooth water wheel. So. That sits inside an impeller casing. You get one impeller at each end of the pump. Water comes in, obviously on your inlet. This spins, pressure builds as it comes around the impeller chamber. What we have in between the inlet and outlet is a little stripping block that strips the water off the impeller and directs it out at the top of the pump. So the beauty of these is they're quite a chunky impeller and they are less susceptible to, to aeration and damage, if that makes sense. So the beauty of that is they don't necessarily need to be protected from air quite as much as what a centrifugal impeller will do. So with these, what you can do is you can tee them off the first tee on the downward leg as the hot water comes off the hot water cylinder. So you don't necessarily need to fit a flange as long as your tank's up in the loft and the pump's at the bottom of the cylinder. The only sort of little bit of a downside is they tend to give off a slightly higher pitch noise, which is synonymous no matter what sort of regenerative or peripheral pump that we're looking at, it's just it's just the nature of the design. So the trade-off is slightly higher noise, but you will get a, 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 a more chunky impeller with an easier installation. So a lot of plumbers do prefer to fit these. The other issue that you can get is stainless steel cylinders. Stainless steel cylinders make it very, very difficult to put a flange on. As I say, these don't necessarily need one. So regenerative pumps, the CT Extra, the CT Bathroom and the CT Force, they can all be teed off the existing sort of downward leg, which means they can fit with stainless steel cylinders. So when we look at centrifugal impellers, the first thing that we'll notice is a substantial hole in the side off them. So with these, your water comes in on the end of the pump, it fills up the chamber, but it also fills up the impeller as well. So as this spins, it throws water outwards using centrifugal force. So as it does that, it creates a higher pressure inside the chamber, which forces the water out of the top of the pump. By doing that, you get a slightly higher flow efficiency than what you would do with a regenerative pump. So multiple bathroom installations can sometimes benefit from a centrifugal pump, such as our right range or EVE. So by doing that, it lowers the noise and it improves the flow efficiency slightly of the pump. And don't forget, you can visit us at salamanderpumps.co.uk or you can tweet myself at salamanderken.